Hello lovely people, this is your boy Andy, bless you for coming, bless you for subscribing to the channel. I sure you are doing good uh, by the grace of God. Yeah, so today's update, I'm taking you straight to Nigeria and we're talking about Fonanya. Uh, we recently we saw a picture that went viral on the media top and this picture I'm talking about, we knew the picture of Fonanya. Finally, she's out uh, with a message concerning this issue. So without wasting your time and you subscribe into the channel, let's go through and enjoy. Okay, so full disclosure, a lot of you may know me from Twitter or Instagram and my nudes leaked. And if you look at me, like the way I live my life on IG, on all the, if you know me, you will know, like the way I live my life, the things I do, how nonchalant I am. You know, um, I smoke, like, if you know me, you already know that this is not a new information. So, but the recent development in my life was that my news leaked on Twitter. And ever since then, people, a lot of people have been saying a lot of things. Some people are like, eh, um, how can this kind of thing happen? Why are you behaving like this? You're smoking online. Nobody will marry you. What will your children see if they grow up and see that this is the kind of person their mother was and blah blah blah. But you know the funny part? All the things that the society tried to use to maybe shame me or control me are things I don't want. People are like, what will your children see when they grow up and realize that this is the kind of mother that they have? And first of all, I don't want to have children. Like, whenever I say this thing, people are always like, eh, you will change your mind. No, I won't. Like, this is a decision that I've taken time to think about. I'm not interested in having any child. And you know, if I was a man, this would be something that would be easily um, contested because I'm a man. Anybody can take my sperm and pregnant themselves. But I'm a woman. I'm the one with the womb. I'm the one with the decision. I'm the one with the ability to see if I will have a child or not. And I have told myself, I will never have children. The moment anyone enter this my belly, abortion clinic streets. So telling me that, what will your children see? First of all, I won't have any children. That's number one. So that doesn't scare me. And then some people are like, eh, nobody will marry you. Nobody will marry you. Use flash. I do not want to get married. Yes, yes, yes. You're surprised, yes. But I don't want to marry. I don't want to have children. If I want I'm like, eh, nobody will marry you, nobody will marry you. Use flash. I do not want to get married. Yes, yes, yes. You're surprised, yes. But I don't want to marry. I don't want to have children. If I wanted to marry, I have tons of men that want to marry me, regardless of my lifestyle. Like, many of people are hypocrites. Many of the things men condemn and see they hate are actually what they love. If I want to marry, if I decide to marry today, there are tons of men that will gladly marry me. So I, I believe that all these things you are saying, society uses it as a way to look for, a, a way to control women. And when you come and meet me and realize that all these things are things I don't give a fuck about. I don't care about marrying. I don't care about having children. That's why many of you are mad because you see that I can't be controlled. My wildness, you can't do anything about it. I don't see how my decisions affect your life. Thank you very much for staying true to this end. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have something to say about this, uh, make it leave it below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell. This is Rick Miss Plus. Always come back for more updates. I'm out. Bye bye.